McLaren has an incredible pedigree in Formula One. So even when it decides to have a go at building road cars like the McLaren F1, it redefines the benchmark. Now the company is getting serious about taking on the Ferraris and Lamborghinis of this world with an all new factory, a global dealer network and a full product offensive starting with the MP4 12C. MP4 being the delineation of every McLaren race car, 12 being the performance index and C revealing this car's fully carbon fibre chassis. If I was Ferrari, I would not be sleeping well right now. McLaren is very clear about its priorities for the 12C. It's about going fast. From the offset, you can tell that this car has been designed by the wind tunnel and what's known as computational fluid dynamics, rather than any stylist's pen. There are some really nice details, like how these front daytime running LEDs mimic the McLaren badge, or how these nodules in the front splitter straighten the airflow beneath the car. But there aren't any exaggerated curves or spoilers that should excite you like a supercar should really. However, it's what's under the skin that really sets this car apart, offering a level of Formula One technology never before seen on a road car at this price point. We're talking about that carbon fiber monocoque, Brake steer, a super light twin turbocharged 3.8 litre V8 that somehow develops more than 600 brake horsepower. And it even has an air brake, which uses this rear spoiler to pivot up, increase drag, hunker the back end down so these rear brakes can work a lot more effectively. And all this technology is shrink wrapped in a surprisingly compact package, 30 millimetres narrower than a Ferrari 458, which should make it a little bit easier to park. When you get beyond the theatre of those dihedral doors and the wide sills, there's an almost Germanic execution to the fit and finish in here, with lashings of leather and carbon fibre, and a real simple elegance to the layout, which is quite a tonic to the button overload you get in a Ferrari 458. I love the purity of this steering wheel, the thickness of which has been cribbed from Lewis Hamilton's Formula One car. And you get these very weighty rocker paddles that allow you to change up or down on the same shifter, should you wish to engage with that seven speed dual clutch transmission. The windscreen is as tall as it is wide, affording loads of visibility for a car at this level. And those front fenders have been designed to allow the driver to perfectly place the front wheels. As for practicality, it's pretty good too. Loads of space in here, some decent cup holders, a nice bit of storage for your iPhone, and a boot that although you can't really call it a Grand Tourer, it certainly is bigger than a Porsche 911. Performance figures for the 12C speak for themselves, but what I can tell you from being sat here is that that rate of acceleration just doesn't seem to relent regardless of speed you're going, which is phenomenal, but it's also terrifying. You've got these two toggles on this central spine for both handling and powertrain, and it offers up to nine permutations, depending on what driving style you want. From a full track attack mode, which is what we're in now, gives you really aggressive gear changes. It firms up the suspension in the corners, as well as giving you the most delicious induction, turbo and engine noise in this cabin. But then when you put the anchors on, oh my word, it's so well balanced on the brakes. But the air brake fills up your rear view mirror and you can effectively, if you put all these toggles to normal, engage a shopping mode. You can also come out of active mode to engage a fully automatic gearbox. So there's no engine noise in the cabin. And because it's a turbocharged engine, it means that the power doesn't kick in low down on the rev range. So it makes it a lot less aggressive to drive when you're just pootling around town. Another revelation about the car is the ride and handling. Rather than go for a traditional anti-roll bar setup, McLaren's adopted a hydraulic system, and that effectively means that when the corner's receiving load, it props it up with hydraulic fluid. And the result is a very flat handling balance, which takes a while to get used to, but when you do, my word, does it get under your skin. If ever there was such a thing as an everyday supercar, the McLaren MP4 12C is it. 
On the one hand, it can be ridiculously easy to drive at low speeds, yet on the next, it has an ability to lay that phenomenal power down better than any other supercar. And it's that change in character at this level that's unparalleled. Granted, it may be a bit too understated for some tastes, but when you're this good, you don't really need to shout about it. <laughs>